Power Director 16. Let's add some color. Let's add some LUTs. Let's make our videos look amazing when we put LUTs with Power Director 16. In this tutorial, Power Director 16, I'm going to teach you how to make your own LUTs and where to get a whole bunch of free LUTs. Adding LUTs to your videos will make them pop, change the color, change the mood. It's just like music. Learning how to use your LUTs in Power Director 16 is super important. So let's head on over and let's get into this tutorial. Within Power Director 16, you're able to create what's called LUTs. LUTs will allow you to change the color of your video to represent your feeling on what you actually want to achieve. There is a free program called DaVinci Resolve 14. I'm going to put the link at the bottom. Go get it. Go download it because that's what you're looking at now. Once we have DaVinci Resolve, we're going to load our video in here. Now, with this particular tutorial, what I'm going to show you is how to make your own LUT that you're actually going to use in PowerDirector 16. I've loaded my video in here. I'm going to drag it down here to this timeline. And then we've got it in there. Now, at the very bottom, you're going to see where it says Edit, Media, and Color. We're going to click on Color. And this is where the magic begins. You can literally tweak this and how you want it to look. You can simply click and drop some circles on this line within DaVinci. And then I can actually just grab this and pull this down. And you'll notice I'm making it a little bit darker, a little bit brighter. And basically, we're trying to create our LUT on how we want it to look. Pretty nice. Over here, we have some dials I could mess with. And I can pull them back and forth and create whatever look I want. I can create my dots here, play around with this if I want, go up and down, get more greens, more colors, whatever I want to do. Click my other dot here, same thing. Here's some darkness if I want. Add more greens. And the same thing applies with these lines. You can simply click them and add some more circles to them. And then you can actually pull them down. Move it over to the next one. Same thing. Now, when you get the look you want, so say that's the look I actually want. Up here where it says clips, if you click clips, that's going to pop up as you notice. This is where the magic begins right here. You're going to right click on this little square there. And then you're actually going to say generate 3D LUT. And then give it a name. And when you're in Power Director, all you have to do is actually drop your video in the timeline, click on Fix and Enhance, head on over to Lookup Table, go find the LUT you just made in whatever folder you put it in, and there's the look we got. Have a look, there's the doll look, there's the new LUT I just made for myself, and we got a couple squirrels playing around with the different LUTs. So, you can make your own LUTs for PowerDirector 16 if you choose, or you can go download free LUTs off the internet. I'll have a whole bunch of links in the description box for picking up free LUTs, or you can download DaVinci for free. All this stuff that I'm showing in this tutorial is completely free. Making your own LUTs is a lot of fun. It's just a matter of learning another program. At any rate, go make some LUTs. Go have some fun. And I'll catch you guys on the next one.